went awry for the Huskies. Jefferson diving for it. Did he get there? Looked like the ball got there with our unofficial yellow line. He's got a really good feel for the short yardage. He just knows when he can take an extra step, when to lean that body. Really good understanding of this offensive line. This Oregon State offensive line is very well coached. Jim Mahalchek is the offensive line coach. Longtime tenured Pac-12 coordinator, O-line type. And they've been impressive against what is one of the better defenses in the country sure. every year. Jimmy Lake's Washington Huskies. Last year averaged under 350 yards allowed per game. Oregon State not quite there. This will be short. So now if you're Oregon State, you can take the points theoretically here, although we just saw Washington miss a field goal. Or you've had so much success running the ball with Jefferson this drive with 54 yards in the third quarter. What do you do? To me, both these teams are so good getting up under center and either sneaking the ball because their offensive line is getting a good push or getting the ball in the hands of the running back and able to create. Jamar Jefferson, I think, is the most capable back in this game. Oregon State's very confident. I'd, I'd, I'd go for it. That's what they're doing. Because you're on the road, and you're going to need more than three points to win this one. Mm. Fourth and inches. It's Jefferson with the call, and he's got it. First down for the Beavers, and goal to go. And no real sense of panic, a sense of urgency to, to the line of scrimmage for Jefferson, but no sense of panic to go get that first down. We talk about the confidence these guys have to get a yard, and both these offensive run games have been really, really fun to watch tonight for an old-school football tie -up. I mean, we've even seen the pitch <laughs> with pulling <laughs> guards. like Don James is on the sideline versus DeAndros. James. Whoa, look at that. Oh, way. Wow. So the spot results in them coming up short. And what a stop from Washington. What a turnaround that is. Red when there was a defender coming directly at him. We got a decent spot, so they're still at the once now in this game and went 82 yards for a touchdown. Jebbia will try to scramble and make something out of nothing, and if you count three yards as something, well, he accomplished that. That, that mouth guard, is, is it more Holy like... Um, 64, 10 yards from the previous spot, replay first down. Uh, you've got a great back with 226, and you want to score and bleed the clock. This is Jefferson's time. Give him the ball. Second to goal. Jebbia keeps it. Leans forward. I think he got in. Let's wait for the signal. None yet. They're spotting him down. So apparently he was down short of the goal line. And have Jebbia sneak it. All right, here we go. Jebbia tries to keep it, gets a push from Jefferson. I don't know. I don't think he got there. Now they're going to stop the clock. Jebbia. Third and final timeout. With, Oregon. With the ball ripped Please out by up. Sewell, saying he came away with the ball. Oregon thinks they have it. Seconds on the game clock. The runner was a little short. And Jebby is hurt. He thought it was just a foregone conclusion that Oregon the State would get in the end zone. That should have been offsides, I think. Against yeah, Oregon. I was going to say. Could have been. It, it, it appears that there was a jump that that Fali'iu Fali jumped offsides. That wasn't called. And if you lose Jebby, now do you come in with Coletto and can you put him under center? He's been